Everyone remembers? So we wrote our story using these four pictures to help us come up with events to tell a story. So we had our umbrella, our dog with a broken arm, our bathtub, and our storm cloud. Okay, so we came up with events and I put them into a little story and we are going to talk about revising our story now. Okay, so before we start, who remembers what is narrative writing? So we're talking about a fictional narrative. So let's look at the two different words here. Myth, what does fictional mean? Do you remember? When I talk about a story being fictional or fiction, is it a made-up story or is it a true story? True story. You sure? Fiction. Make up story. Make up. Right, fiction. The F in fiction, you can remember by fake. Fake is not real. So a fictional story or a fictional narrative we know is going to be not true. Okay, and a narrative is just a fancy word for story. So a fictional narrative is a short story that the writer has made up. Okay, so we wrote our story last week, and today we're going to practice revising it. Okay, when we revise a draft, that just means to make changes to improve the writing. Okay, and improve simply means when we improve something, we make it better. So when we're improving our writing, we are just making it better. Okay, so we're going to look for a few different ways. How can we make our story better? How can we make it more interesting for people to read? Okay. So a couple ways to revise or to make our story better is to add description. Okay, um, Aisha, do you remember last week when we did when we were adding description to our story? So adding description is using describing words like adjectives to make our story more interesting, and we're also going to use dialogue. Does anyone remember what dialogue is? Harry Kane, do you know what dialogue is? Uh, dialogue? Dialogue. dialogue. Now, who knows what dialogue means? So, dialogue in a story is the exact words that characters say to each other. Okay, so when we add dialogue, we're adding exact words that characters are saying to each other. Characters are talking to each other in the story, and that is your dialogue. So, Katie, what, yes. do we use, what do we use to show dialogue or to show that characters are speaking to each other? Uh, quotation mark. Quotation mark. So we're going to be writing quotations today. Okay, so if I said, I asked my mom, what's for oh, breakfast? Okay, so I have a quotation in this sentence. I asked my mom, what's for breakfast? Okay, Maradona, what am I saying in this sentence? I asked my mom, what's for breakfast? What, am, what are my exact words? Do you see the sentence that I just wrote? I asked my mom, what's for breakfast? What are my exact words in this sentence? What did I say to my mom? What's for breakfast? What's for breakfast? Okay, so those are the exact words that I'm using. That's my quotation. Okay, what's for breakfast? And we see that we know it's exact words because we have our quotation marks on the outsides of that. Okay, so we're going to practice doing this today. Let's do another example. Say, my mom said, I'm making blueberry pancakes. So, Alex, do you see the sentence I just wrote out? What? My mom said I'm making blueberry pancakes. Do you see that sentence? Okay. What did my mom say? What are her exact words? I'm making blueberry pancakes. Good job. I'm making blueberry pancakes. That's my mom's exact words. And we can show that by using our quotation marks on either side of that. Okay? So those are two ways we can make our writing more interesting. So let's look at our paragraph here. So this is the story that I took 
and we're going to add details and we are going to add quotations or dialogue to make our story more interesting and make it more sorry make it seem more like real life okay so listen as i read and while i'm reading i want you to think where can we add details and where can we add quotations or dialogue to make our story better okay it was a stormy day Lightning was shooting out of the clouds as the dog walked toward the tower. The dog took out his umbrella and it turned into a rose. The dog went inside the tower because the rose wasn't keeping him dry. The tower got struck by lightning, so the dog jumped out of the window and broke his arm. The dog went home to take a bath, but when he turned on the water, fire came out instead. The fire burned the dog, so he called an ambulance. So where is a good place here that we can add more description? We can add more describing words. What can we tell more about in this story? See, David, what do you think? What can we tell more about? You can either, you can type into the chat also. So we are talking about what kind of day it is. Uh, we're talking about the dog walking. So let's look at our, just our first part here and our first couple of lines. Where can we add more description? David, what do you think? In our uh, sentences, what describing words can we add? The lightning. Okay, what about the lightning? What can we say more about lightning? Think of what does lightning look like? What are some words we can use to describe lightning? The lightning was very strong. Strong, okay. Is it strong like like this kind of strong, or is it strong like the, it's the, the light is very strong? The light. Okay, so what's a word that we can use for when light is strong, when there's lots of light? The light is... Do you know what word I'm talking about? When, when the light is very strong, and you look up at it, and you're like, oh, it's so... Bright. Bright. So we can add bright here. Bright lightning was shooting out of the clouds, as the dog was, oh, sorry, as the dog walked towards the tower. Very good. Okay, and let's think, why is our dog walking towards this tower? Myth, why, why should our dog be walking towards this tower? What's he doing walking on a rainy day or on a stormy day? Why would he be walking toward a tower? What do you think? Why would he be walking towards the tower? Do you have any ideas? None. It's, there's no right answer myth. You just have to think, why would he be walking towards a tower? If you were outside walking on a stormy day, why would you be walking towards a tower? Because outside is very wet. Okay, so the dog walked towards the tower to get out of the rain. Should we say that? Okay, and let's think, should we give our dog a name? Okay, let's look at how many times we see the words the dog. We have the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog, the dog. How many times is that, Alex? Six. Six. Is that a lot of times to say the dog? Yes. I think so. It's a lot of times. Should we give him a name? What? Should we name the dog? What should his name be? Hmm. Hmm. Everyone can also type into the chat if they'd like to. We're going to change our dog. We're going to give him a name. So what should our dog's name be? Hmm. Hmm. Who has an idea for us? Maradona, what do you think? What should our dog's name be? Just dog. Just dog. You want it to be dog? Okay, who has another idea? Okay, I see Harry Kane says Rex. Okay, is Rex a good dog name? Give me a thumbs up if you like Rex. R-E-X. What do you think? No, we don't like it? All right, David, what's your answer then? What's your idea? Boba. Spell for me. G-L-U-B-E-R-T. G-L-U-B-E-R-T? What? Okay, so let's, let's vote. I'll write some dog names and then we can vote on it. Okay, so we have, you see at the bottom writing, we have Rex. G-L-U-B-E-R-T, like this? Yep. Glubert. Okay. Okay. So let's vote between Rex and Glubert. If you want Rex, raise your hand. 
Who likes the name Rex? I see one vote. Who else? Two, three, four. Four votes for Rex. Okay, what about Gloobert? All right, so Gloobert is the name of our dog. Okay, so let's change his name to Gloobert. Now, do we just want to say Gloobert this, Gloobert that, Gloobert, 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 Jerry? No. What do you think? So we can use Gloobert. Do we want Gloobert to be a boy dog or a girl dog? Boy. I'm going to be a boy dog? Okay. So we'll take the first the dog and we'll change it to Gloobert. And okay, we'll say Gloobert the dog walk towards the tower. Okay? And then instead of Gloobert or the dog here, what can we use, Cherry? He. He, very good. He took out his umbrella and it turned into a rose. Okay, do we want to say the dog again or Gloobert or he for the next one? The I can tell me there. What? Are you there? Yes. Okay, so we're replacing the dog with Gloobert. So we have Gloobert the dog walked toward the tower. He took out his umbrella and it turned into a rose. Next, do you see where we have the dog here? Yes. What can we change this to? Mm. We can either say Gloobert or he. Which one? He. He. Okay. He went inside the tower because the rose wasn't keeping him dry. The tower got struck by lightning, so the dog jumped out of the window and broke his arm. So for this next, the dog, what should we change that one to, Aisha? Uh, this one here. So the dog jumped out and broke his arm. You can say Glubert or he. Uh, Glubert. Glubert. All right. Good mix of Gluberts and he's. <laughs> Where did you hear the name Glubert, David? How did you hear of this name? I think. You just made up the name Glubert. All right. So, next we have our new paragraph. The dog went home to take a bath. Lily, what do you think? Glubert or the dog? Or sorry, Glubert or he here? Glubert. Glubert. Bluebird went home to take a bath, but when he turned on the water, fire came out instead. The fire burned what? So we can his have tail. Blue, his tail. We want to say so we don't. We want to say the fire burned his tail. Okay. All right, so I think this is going to sound much better. Instead of having so many the dogs, we have other words to talk about him. Okay, so now we have some more details. Let's see, what about the rose over here? What kind, we know that the umbrella turned into a rose, but let's add some description to our rose. So, Sophia, are you there? Yes? Okay. Can you, I can't hear you still, so why don't you, I'm going to give you the job of describing our rose. Okay, so in the chat, can you give me some describing words for the rose? Okay, I'm going to assume that you heard me. Okay, so in the chat, tell me some words to add description to our rose here. Okay, so let's talk about quotations. So hang on, are you there? Yes. Okay, we're gonna give some. We're gonna put some dialogue into our story now. Okay, so remember, dialogue is exact words that a character is saying. So, where do you think a good place to add exact words would be in this story? Um, what should our dog be saying? Know. You don't know. Okay, so I'll help you. So let's see. Let's say when the dog, sorry, when he takes out his umbrella and it turns into a rose. So hang on, can you imagine? It's raining outside, it's a big storm. You go to take your umbrella out and instead of being an umbrella, it turns into a big rose. What might you say? 
How, how might you feel? Let's ask that first. How might you feel if your umbrella turns into a big flower? Feel sad. You feel sad? Okay, so what do you say when you're sad? I'm sad because my umbrella turned to rose. Okay, so Sophia just told us that it. we now want a tiny purple, it's a tiny purple rose. So you feel sad? Are you maybe surprised that your umbrella has turned into a rose? Or is this a normal thing that happens every day? No more things. Really? You, you use umbrellas and they turn into roses every day? No. No? So we might be a little bit surprised, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry. That was Katie that said tiny purple rose. So, Sophia, type into the chat, what kind of rose do you want? This is Sophia's job, since her microphone's not working. So what do you say when okay. you're surprised? Hang on. Um, I'm surprised because my umbrella turned to rose. Okay. So now we have a red, good smelling rose. Thank you, Sophia. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna actually add these into our story, and then we're gonna add some quotations. Okay, so hang on, tell me again. How, what are you gonna say here? If you're surprised, what are we saying? Uh, I'm surprised because my, my umbrella turned to rose. You wanna say, I'm surprised because my umbrella turned into a rose. So listen to how this sounds and tell me if we should make any changes. The dog took out his umbrella and it turned into a rose. I'm surprised because my umbrella turned into a rose. Does that sound good or does that sound like the same thing twice in a row? So if you're walking down the street, you go to take your umbrella out, it turns into a rose, you're gonna say, I'm surprised because my umbrella turned into a rose. Is that how we talk in real life? Yes. Really? So if my lunch falls on the ground, I'm going to say, I'm surprised because my lunch fell on the ground. Is that how we talk in real life? No. Nope. No? So what do you say? What are some words that, that like express that you were surprised? Let's say, who can help us out? Harry Kane, what do you think? What are some words uh, that tell us that you're surprised? Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. We'll say he exclaimed. Okay, we're going to make this a new paragraph because of dialogue here. Wow, he exclaimed. Okay, what else do we think? Let's see, Katie, what do you think? What other dialogue? Uh, what else can our dog say? Oh, my God. We could say wow, or we could say oh my god. Okay, so let's say wow, and then maybe him describing what's just happened. Is this a crazy thing that could happen? Yes, a crazy thing. Okay, so we can say wow, that's crazy. Okay, so that that is Bluebert being surprised. Okay, so what about? when he goes inside the tower because the rose wasn't keeping him dry. So the, our tower gets struck by lightning. Ronaldo, are you there? Yes. Okay, so our tower has gotten struck by lightning. Our dog jumps out of the window and he breaks his arm. What might he say? Imagine that you are in a very tall, tall tower. You jump out of the window and you break your arm. What might you say? Are you going to say, I'm so surprised because I just fell out of a tower and broke my arm. No. No, what are we going to say instead? <laughs> so, okay. So he's walking in the rain. His umbrella turns into a flower. He goes in the tower. Tower gets struck by lightning. He 
falls out of the window and breaks his arm. Is he having a very good day? No. No. So what might you say when you're not having such a good day? Uh, are you going to stay out in the rain and keep playing, or are you going to go home? I will go home. Okay, so what can, how can we say this as Bluebert's words? I'm going... Pretend you're Glubert and you're having a terrible day. What are you going to say? say? This day. How do we feel about this day? Less boring. It was boring? Really? Is it boring? Or is it just like, is it the best day or is it the worst day? Worst day. Okay, we'll say this day is the worst. I'm going where? Where is he going now? Look at our next line. The dog went to home. Okay, so I'm going home. Like so Glubert said as he stomped home. He's going to stomp home because he's angry. Okay. So that's now we've added some dialogue. To our story and some more descriptions. So I'm going to type this up and we're going to keep working on this tomorrow.